because we both get asked ever such a lot, what is diabetes? We thought we'd do a short video answering that question. So Rich, what is diabetes? Okay, diabetes. So there are two main types of diabetes, type one and type two. To understand these better, we need to understand what glucose and insulin are. Glucose is a sugar that the body makes from the carbohydrate that we eat. And insulin is a hormone within the body that acts like a key to send that glucose into the cell so we can use it for energy. This key, insulin, is released by the pancreas. But in the case of a type 1 diabetic, this system doesn't work. So a type 1 diabetic would need to take insulin for this action to work. This can be hereditary or it can be caused by diet. A type 2 diabetic has the ability to produce insulin, but through excessive production, the function of the insulin is inhibited. It loses its ability to drive the glucose into the cell. The production of insulin uh, is increased by the body to such a point that it can no longer increase any further. So the cells do not get the energy they need, uh, and the glucose or sugar begins to build up in the blood uh, the cells have become resistant to the effect of insulin. This is called insulin resistance. Type 2 diabetes is caused purely by diet. Type 2 diabetes can be reversed by diet. This can occur in as quickly as two weeks. So you're saying you can reverse diabetes. How? For sure. So first of all, we must recognize what has caused this insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is caused by eating too much sugar. This could be chocolate bars or sweets, but also by things like bread, pasta, rice, potatoes. Why? Because all of these foods contain high levels of carbohydrate and all carbohydrate break down into glucose or sugar. All carbohydrate. We look at carbohydrate and sugar as being two different things, but they are in fact one and the same because all carbohydrate break down into sugar. By reducing the amount of carbohydrate we consume, we lower the volume of sugar in the blood and very quickly the action of insulin becomes more effective and we begin to reverse this insulin resistance. So you're saying to reverse diabetes, we need to reduce sugar, but don't we need sugar to live? Yes, but the body makes all of the sugar that it needs through a process called gluconeogenesis. We do not need to get any sugar or carbohydrate from our diet. The human body needs just protein and fat, things like meat, eggs, fish, cheese. So reducing or completely removing things like cereal, bread, pasta, rice, can see a very quick reversal of type 2 diabetes. Swapping your morning cereal or toast for bacon and eggs and changing your bowl of pasta for some beef or chicken with some vegetables. These simple changes will see a huge improvement very quickly. For this reason, a low-carb, ketogenic or carnivore-based lifestyle are highly recommended. We have lots of free recipes, starters, mains, and even desserts available on the website, theketopro.com, along with all of the potential replacements you may need to hit the floor running, including low-carb bread, wraps, chocolate bars, and other snacks. Now, there is another contributing factor to insulin resistance that we may need to address, and that is the action of seed oils or vegetable oils. Contrary to popular belief, these are not good for us. They are detrimental to our health. They are high in an oxidized omega-6 called linoleic acid, which damages our liver and leads to an increase in insulin resistance. These things are things like sunflower oil, rapeseed oil, grapeseed oil, or vegetable oil. We need to remove these from cooking and cook with more stable fats, things uh, such as butter, tallow, lard, ghee, or simply use the fats from the meats themselves when cooking. So you're saying that I need to eat fats to be healthy, but what about my cholesterol? Well, cholesterol has been demonized since the 1950s based on poor research. Cholesterol is in fact essential for life. We cannot live without it. There's a whole other video that we have on cholesterol. So please feel free to check that out. Now, in regards to seed oils or vegetable oils, they're not just found in cooking. Almost every item in the supermarket contains these toxic compounds. So be careful when picking your produce from the supermarket. And remember that if it's in a shiny packet, it's not real food. There are only two aisles in the supermarket that contain real food. That's the meat aisle and the veg aisle. Everything else has been heavily manipulated by man with toxic chemicals and compounds. These have no place in a healthy lifestyle. Better still, support your local butcher or greengrocer, buy local and buy fresh. 
So does this mean I'll never eat cereals or rice or bread and pasta ever again? Of course not. But when you begin this lifestyle, the question will be, why would you want to have in delicious meats, fats, and all of these fantastic foods to eat every day? Um, but just means that you may need to preference real food, predominant in animal proteins and natural fats. It's all about the rule and not the exception. If you eat healthy six days out of seven, one day consuming a treat isn't going to harm. But the less you consume them, the quicker you'll see results and the healthier you will be. Thank you, Richard. I think I have a much better idea about diabetes, how to reverse it and what's the best way of going about it.